Consistent sample preparation is critical in obtaining quality results. On most JUL systems, you want to aim for four centimeters of sample height. Note that you shouldn't rely on a volume as the tolerances of inner diameter of NMR tubes can vary significantly with price of the tube. When picking up a sample holder, keep in mind that there are actually two components, the outer rotor and the insert. Be sure that the insert is pulled all the way down before putting your NMR tube in. The insert can be pulled out accidentally sometimes when people pull their NMR tubes out. It's important to always wipe your NMR tubes down with a Kim wipe before you put them in the sample holder. Any grease or dust that might be on the tubes will be transferred to the sample holder or eventually to the NMR probe. When inserting the tube into the sample holder, use even pressure and rotate the tube as you push down, as my colleague is demonstrating here. This will overcome any friction between the tube and the O-ring inside the insert. Place the sample in the depth gauge and continue to push down while rotating the tube in order to get the bottom of the tube down to the lower 20 millimeter mark. Notice here that the tube seems to bounce back up when the tube is pushed down without being rotated. The bottom of the tube should make contact with the black stopper in the depth gauge, which should be set to the lower 20 millimeter mark. If the stopper has been moved for some reason, please stop what you're doing and consult the system administrator. Otherwise, damage to the probe could occur. Have comments, questions, or requests for additional videos? Please visit our forums on the nmrsupport.jeol.com website or feel free to leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.